Welcome back lighting friends. In the last video we looked at Cognito's color spaces and this time we're going to have a discussion about correlated color temperature or CCT. Now we'll have to do a little bit of background to explain some of the science behind it uh, but essentially what we just want to do is show you how you can control it and what it does for you. So to begin with let's just talk a little bit about what it means to uh, have a correlated color temperature or a predictable color temperature and what does that mean in any sense now we all know what blue is we know what red is we know what uh, white is well we don't always know what white is because white is a combination of all the colors and uh, and something that uh, looks white at one point may not look white at another point point. and if you used to use video cameras Back in the 90s, you might remember pointing the camera before you shoot your video at a white card and then hit white balance. And that would tell the camera essentially what is white and then things could go uh, warmer or cooler from there. So, and warmer and cooler is a relative term as well. We think of, you know, the hot tap being red and the cold tap being blue. Well, in the lighting world, that's actually backwards. Something that is cooler is actually hotter. Um, <laughs> that doesn't seem to make much sense. But uh, what is uh, a, a, a cool looking light would be uh, blue, but that is actually a higher temperature. And we measure temperature in this case in Kelvin. Now, what is Kelvin? Well, Kelvin is a unit of measurement, uh, just like Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, and it's actually a one-to-one -one relationship between Celsius and Kelvin, uh, except for they're offset by 273 degrees. So water freezes at zero Celsius and all movement stops at minus 273 degrees-ish. And that is where zero Kelvin is. So when you hear uh, 3200 Kelvin, uh, that's pretty hot. You wouldn't want to be touching it. So, uh, and we measure this on what is a theoretical thing called a black body radiator. Now, what is a black body radiator? Well, as an example here, let me just take my phone, which is black. And uh, if it truly was a black body radiator, that means all light that hits it from all angles uh, would completely be absorbed by it. And you wouldn't be able to see it. It would be a, a black hole, actually, because it would absorb all the light. Now it's theoretical, there's really not much uh, point of, of trying to identify beyond that what it is, but the idea is that this thing uh, doesn't have a color or a shape or anything like that. So if you start heating this thing up, it will start radiating an electronic electromagnetic spectrum. Part of that is visible and uh, we see that as light and, uh, and you see this when you turn on your stove. It, gets warm. It, it first starts giving off infrared light, which you can't see, but then eventually it gets red hot. And a tungsten filament inside of a, a theater lamp uh, is about 3200 Kelvin, which means if you could put a temperature probe right on the filament, which very closely represents a black body radiator, um, it would actually measure 3473 degrees Celsius. Um, so, uh, then there is the whole discussion about what does correlated color temperature means, because with an incandescent bulb, you can actually just use its temperature. Um, but when you start using fluorescent lights and discharge lights, arc lights, solid state lighting like LED, uh, they give off crazy peaks and it's very difficult to, uh, to measure them and they go beyond what is actually, you know, uh, physically measurable. So uh, they end up using uh, an approximation and we call this a correlation, correlated color temperature. So let's look at a couple examples here uh, just to give you an idea of what these numbers in Kelvin mean. What this graph shows is the relationship of the amount of light given off by a black body radiator as we heat it up and what the frequency of that visible light is along the x-axis and that is shown in nanometers and it goes from the reds on the right to the violets on the left and anything beyond that is invisible. 
So as we heat up this black body radiator, the first recognizable temperature we get to is 1900 Kelvin. And that is equivalent to the color of white that comes off of a candle. This is candlelight white. If we continue to heat up our black body, the next temperature that is interesting to us is about 2700 Kelvin. And that is the same as what you would get from a household lamp, the light you would have in your house, or at least what you might used to have in your house. Continuing on, you get to 3200 Kelvin, and that is what stage halogen tungsten lights use. And we like this light because it reflects back most of the visible spectrum very cleanly. And uh, that's one of the reasons why it is our favorite light on the stage. If you continue to heat up our black body, you would get up to 5600 Kelvin. And this is where most discharge lamps, MSRs, xenons, HMIs, follow spots, moving lights, they live in this range. And as it goes on beyond that, you exceed the values that you would see in solid state lighting, like white LEDs. And it keeps going on to 28,000 Kelvin, which is what it looks like when you stare up into a bright blue sky. So what's all of this mean back in Cognito land? Well, I'm going to use the emulator down here below while selecting my group of RGB lights. And I'm going to hit the intensity button on the console. Hitting the C button will take those guys to full, and they now are in white. So if I hit the color control, I can see that using the color picker here, I can set them to any color at all in the rainbow. And uh, as I go from a saturated color up towards white, they will actually go to a white. Now what is that white? We can see in the wheels tool, that currently the color correlation is in the color mode where the console is controlling CCT and the blue wheel on the desk will actually dial in Kelvin and right now it's at uh, going down from 6000 which is the default and I'll take it down to 3200 so it matches all of my other stage lights. Now you could go down deeper and get very very warm if we're doing an internal scene uh, with uh, candles or uh, house lights um, or we could uh, take it up and match the follow spots at around 56 or the other um, moving lights in the rig perhaps or uh, we could take it up and make it closer to like a gas light color or take it up to very very blue uh, levels right up at the top. So CCT in this case for these lights goes from 2800 Kelvin to 9000 Kelvin. Now when you dial in a level of Kelvin like that, you can still go back to the color picker and go into a saturated color. And at this point, the value of CCT is irrelevant. But as you approach white from wherever you come from it, you're going to go back to that 9000 Kelvin, which we had dialed into CCT. Now let's release these guys and look at another type of light. This, those were just standard RGBs. But here I put in an elation ELR par 108 which has RGBW and as we said in previous versions with natural language control you just pick a color and Cognito will figure out how to use the white chips or the amber chips or what other chips it is. Now this light itself actually has the ability under the wheels control for color mode to be in console CCT which I just demonstrated or if we hit the A button, you can actually pick uh, direct mode or fixture CCT. Let's first off look at the direct mode. So I will dial down to direct. And what that does is it hid the CCT control, which was on the blue wheel, and it exposed the white chip, which is on the green wheel. So now we have direct control of the red, the green, the blue, and on this page here, the white. The red, the green, and the blue are on the color mix page. Red, green, blue. We go to color correlation, and since we're in direct, we have control of the white. Now we can change this back to uh, console CCT, and the console will use the three red, green, blue, plus the white chip to decide how to get 6,000 Kelvin when you are not using a saturated color. Now, this elation fixture actually has its own fixture calibrated CCT. 
And in that case, you actually are sending out another DMX channel directly to the fixture to say that I want it at whatever Kelvin you put in, 5100 Kelvin, and the white chip is still available for you to override those values on the green wheel. And as we said before, color mixing is red, green, and blue. So you have the red chip, the green chip, the blue chip, the white chip, and direct fixture CCT. So that's a lot of science. Uh, it's, uh, it's been great chatting. And next time what we're going to do is look at the controls of color with the Neato app on your iPad. Thanks for joining me.